Hello, everyone. This is Xiao Yu. I will introduce our paper, Adversarial Open Domain Adaptation for Sketch to Photosynthesis. This work is jointly done with Ding Liu, Xiao Yang, Yi Heng Zhu, and Xiao Huishen at Baidance. This paper aims to handle sketch to image generation with limited data. Due to the difficulty in annotation, it is uneasy to collect massive sketch data, so early works use edges as substitution. However, comparing with edges, freehand sketches have more deformations. There are loose connections between input sketch and output images. In this work, we explore the open domain freehand sketch to image generation, that the model can generate multiple classes of objects, even it has never seen such sketch category in the training phase. This task is very challenging since we are using freehand sketches. Besides, these sketches and images are compared. Especially, the sketch data is very limited, that we can only get few shots or zero shots. And we want to use one model to generate diverse classes of images with a given label. To handle the missing sketch class, some previous solutions replace them with extracted edge maps. However, the model simply trained with edges cannot recertify the distorted shapes of freehand sketches, as shown in the left figure. So the other works try to substitute with synthesized sketches from the off-shelf ex sketch extractor. Still, model trained with synthesized sketches cannot generalize to real sketches, like shown in the right figure. To solve this problem, we propose to learn the photo to sketch and sketch to photo translation jointly and narrow the domain gap between the synthesized and real sketches. This is our network structure. It has two generators, GS and GP, and two discriminators, DS and DP, for the sketch and photo domains, respectively. In this way, we can turn the open domain photos in the sketches with the GAN priors. It also includes a photo classifier R. The whole network is trained together from scratch. During training, our generator loss includes the following terms. Adversarial loss from sketch and image domains, pixel-wise reconstruction loss, and the classification loss. However, if we directly train the multi-class generator with the above loss, the training objectives for open domain classes N become the following form due to the missing sketches S. As a result, the sketch to photo generator GP is solely supervised by the pixel-wise consistency. This will make GP generate blurry photos for the open domain classes. So we propose the random mixed training strategy. We are construct a batch pool of pseudo sketches and labels by randomly mixing the synthesized sketches with real ones in a batchwise manner. During the training process, the batch pool is enriched with the real sketches and generated sketches from different epochs. And the pseudo sketches are treated as the real ones by the generator. During optimization, the sampling strategy is only for GP. The classifier and discriminators are still updated with real fake data to guarantee their discriminative powers. As shown in the experimental results, the outputs of our model are preferred by more users than the other compared methods and achieves the best results in terms of the FID score and classification accuracy on all datasets. Our random mean mixture strategy improves not only the open domain results, but also the end domain results. As a byproduct, our network can also provide high-quality freehand sketches for a given photo, as shown in the left figure. The right figure shows the photo-based sketch synthesis results varies with different epochs. The changing sketches increase the sketch diversity, thus further augmenting the data and improving the generator's generalization capability. Our sketch extractor also has an interesting application called Animate to Sketch, which extracts line arts from illustration anime, art, and manga. Feel free to check our GitHub for more details. Thank you for listening to this presentation. Our code and pre-trained ways are available here.